Two people died in that helicopter crash I mentioned in Rowlett. Investigators tonight trying to figure out exactly what happened. Witnesses say the helicopter was spiraling out of control as it came crashing down. It all happened right along the 2200 block of Lakeview Parkway between Centerville and Rowlett Road, which is right west of the President George Bush Turnpike. I want to bring in our Jack Fink tonight, joining us live from the scene and take us through what we know as of right now as far as what happened here. Well, Doug, this helicopter crashed in this small, empty lot, and right over here is Lakeview Parkway, as you mentioned, busy with cars. There's a Walmart, a Home Depot, and a gas station along this road. We are now waiting to find out the identities of those who lost their lives today in this crash. All Rowlett police can say at this point is that they were two adults not related to one another. We know that the FAA was out here interviewing witnesses today. We know the NTSB is going to be out here tomorrow morning looking at all of the wreckage. These white flags that you see on the ground are pieces of the wreckage. And while the main part of this wreckage is here, I want to draw your attention to the top of that self storage building. That white piece appears to be the tail section from the helicopter. Still no word on what caused this crash around 1130 this morning. Witnesses tell us they heard a loud bang and when they looked up, they saw the helicopter spiraling to the ground and that its tail section had already come off. It erupted into flames when it hit the ground. This was all recorded on cell phone and surveillance cameras, but we are not showing that video because two people died. Witnesses ran over to help, tried to pull people out, put the flames out, but the fire was too intense, so firefighters had to extinguish the flames. FAA records show that the chopper was a 2016 Robinson R44 rotocraft owned by the Sky Helicopters of DeSoto, which is the same company that operates our news helicopter. Beautiful day, they get out and they think they're going to have a nice ride on a, on a helicopter and all of a sudden it ends tragically like that. It's, just, it's sad, but I just hope that he didn't suffer at the end of the day. Now, we interviewed him before Rowlett Police announced this afternoon that two people were on this helicopter. Previously, the FAA had told us for most of the day that only the pilot was aboard. Live in Raleigh, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. We're thinking about their families. Jack, thank you so much.